Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ninja Knight. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video. Really important that you share the video because YouTube don't like this information to get out and certainly these individuals like to suppress this information. Also subscribe to the channel. Now I'm gonna start off this video by saying I disavow anybody contacting Erica Cody. I disavow anybody contacting Spin1038 and I disavow anybody that contacts in our Ireland. This is an individual that I've highlighted in previous videos that decided to involve herself in cancel culture. She decided to try and cancel Versatile. Her attempt last year was unsuccessful. She then came again this year to try and attack the lads. This is no make no mistakes about it. What we're dealing with here is an individual with a victim mentality and an individual that's actually a very sly bully in my opinion. So here we go, we look at this nonsense. This is Speak Up on Spin. Racism. Here's Erica Cody. The Irish are a nation of same scholars and world travellers. From em and spoofers, if it, if it includes you. Immigration to the J1, we've slung our hook all over the planet. You can go almost anywhere in the world and you'll likely see a gal jersey and an Irish bar. We've gone out into the world and the world has come back home with us. Ireland is now a melting pot of different cultures, backgrounds and ethnicities. So it's interesting there she mentions the word cultures. Keep that word in mind, culture, because it's going to highlight itself in a moment which I'm going to tear it apart. The languages on our streets are more than just English and Irish. Our foods are more than beefs and spuds. Our skin Curious that she decided to say about the languages English and Irish. Why would you not put Irish first? You know what I mean? More than beefs and spuds. Our skin colours are more than milky white and freckled. Our skin colours are more than milky white and freckled. What are you talking about? What are you saying? This is an Irish radio station making these, uh, allowing these comments to go ahead. That's pure nonsense. Whoever's heading this thing should be absolutely ashamed. We're growing, adapting and including. But somehow there are still instances of racism in our great country. Which like what? You keep going with this straw man argument. You keep making these claims, but you're not backing them up. You're not backing them up with receipts. Very clearly on your Twitter, when you look at your Twitter, there are some very suspect things that you have posted. Some outrageous things. You've even been talking about Kyle Rittenhouse there recently, about him being a bad guy. When he, when he's a kid that went to an area to help people out and ended up having to defend himself, which you can see clearly in any and all videos that have been shown. From start to finish. You're uneducated. You're a hypocrite. Which isn't great. Over the next few weeks on Speak Up on Spin, we're going to highlight some of the different types of racism that is plaguing this great land of ours. We're I cannot wait for these videos because they are going to be a gold mine in terms of content and in terms of being able to pick apart because this individual with what she says and does is so easy to pick apart and she's been picked apart in the last two videos that I've done on this subject. We're going to educate you on the conscious and unconscious types of racism that happen here every day. We're going to Okay, we're just going to break that down there. She wants to educate us on the types of conscious and unconscious racism that happen. Just think about that for a moment. This individual that has this in her profile is going to educate us on conscious and unconscious means of racism. What are you talking about? What this is, is an individual that's trying to control how you think. And that's the narrative that's being pushed forward, it seems, from this video. This is unbelievable stuff. You think that they get someone that would be unbiased, but yeah, has this here. This is a group, for anyone who doesn't know, that are across in America right now, causing riots, looting, and burning buildings down to the ground. This is what a group is that would talk about themselves in terms of being Marxist. That is extremely negative. To celebrate artists in Ireland with different ethnic backgrounds, I'm going to open up and have some very real conversations with people about their experiences. Head to this okay, so that's an important comment there as well too. They're going to talk to different artists of various ethnic backgrounds. I'm very curious to see the individuals that are going to pop up in this one because I'm telling you it's going to be very funny and I have a very good suspicion as to what's going to happen and what sort of narrative they're going to try and paint. So this is unbelievable from Spain and I'm just going to pick this individual apart now as well too with things she said in the past and to me it's absolutely amazing that a company like Spain hasn't looked at these things or maybe they have and they haven't said to themselves within their own hiring practices 
actually we'll look at what this individual has been up to and what she's been saying the reason why she was found out in a video that I've done about her trying to lie about Casper. And that's going to come into play now in a moment. So she was on Off The Ball Sports. No. Uh, she was on Off The Ball Sports and I'm baffled as to see why she got the airtime. But what I'm talking about here is there's clearly a correlation between her getting herself into this as a sort of in quote activist. And has now weaseled her way into being some sort of individual that can pontificate to people it's absolutely insane now i'm just going to come down and look at this article i've done this in a previous video i've covered this but again i'm just going to again and again i'm going to talk about this i've screenshotted this whole thing as well too so this won't go away beyond the recent controversy erica cody has caused to lament the fact that the duo in question had managed to secure such a following they sold out the tree arena late last year despite the troubling lyrics in their songs now this is in reference to the group versatile I'm not sure why she's talking about the duo at all. She seems to have a particular beef with Caspar Walsh. She's talked about his fiance on Twitter as well too. Sort of okaying her fans to go after his fiance, which I personally think is disgusting. But that's the type of individual you're dealing with. She was upset by their troublesome lyrics. And she was talking about cancelling them to try and cancel them last year. She wasn't listened to. But in the age that we're in now of BLM, people are starting to be listened to now. You have herself... You have John Boyega that's being listened to. You have Don Lemon being listened to. You have your Ray Fisher being listened to now during this age. Whereas most of the time they've been told, stop being a little bitch, get on with it. If you're getting a bit of a slagging, get on with it. This is how Ireland is. Great quote from Tommy Tiernan. Tommy Tiernan always said, to be truly Irish, you have to be able for a slagging. And that's the end of it. If you won't want to be that way, go somewhere else. That was his idea. I think that's a good idea because everybody knows that your best friend in Ireland will insult you so much that you would actually think that they are our enemy. That is how Irish people behave. Now this individual seems like an absolute snowflake as I pointed out in the previous videos that I've done. So she decides to say in this, when you Google Irish hip hop, they're the first act that comes up. Well if you go into Google Images and you do the same thing, that's a lie because they're about 12 are down on the list funny enough but... She supposed, I suppose she wanted to put her into that type of spin. But that is not what we stand for here at all. You have absolutely no ability to be talking about what Irish people stand for at all. No way. There's some really good hip hop here. That's your opinion. That's not a fact. And that includes white Irish rappers. Why did you single out white in that there? Why didn't you just say Irish rappers? Or just rappers in general? Why did you have to single out the race there? Huh? That would be a much better way to spend your time than listening to those racist, misog <laughs> racist, homophobic and misogynistic lyrics. I mean, this is an individual that is either a moron or she knows exactly what she's doing trying to say these sort of words, these buzzwords that SJW woke weirdos use. You try and tag people with these words. Are you trying to tell me that Snoop Dogg, who you tweeted at, to try and remove the two boys from their tour, isn't an individual that's been involved in criminal activities he has a long list of them on his wikipedia he's involved in a gang he was also involved in p to the i to the m to the p know what i'm saying and this that was an individual you tried to appeal to to try and get the boys kicked off a tour why it's very easy to understand when you were a guest in the culture, now this is something that I had a massive problem with the last time I spoke about this in the video. What are you talking about with guests in the culture? If you're supposed to be someone that's promoting harmony and everyone, should you not welcome everybody into any culture? Eric D. July, fantastic YouTuber. He goes by Young Ripper. Absolutely love him. He's in a heavy metal band. Now for most people that don't know, heavy metal is probably predominantly white. But Eric D. July... And any and all people of any race are more than welcome into heavy metal and any other type of genre. So why is it that two guys like this, for example, are finding it very hard to get into this? You've seen Eminem spoke about this genre, how difficult it is to get back into. You've, you've seen Machine Gun Kelly talk about how difficult this genre is to get into. You've seen Post Malone talk about how difficult this is to get into. Action Bronson. What have they all got in common? Their skin colour. 
So these guys have worked very hard. And now you're trying to diminish this by saying that they're a guest in your culture. No. That's absolute shit that you're talking. You need to understand where that the genre you're working within comes from. I don't think you understand where it comes from. Because not only were black people involved in its inception. Latino people were also involved in it as well too. So there is that. I wasn't made. It wasn't made for this. So you could fetishize and dehumanize a black woman in an art form created by black folk. <laughs> what are you talking about? Any videos that you can see maybe of Jay-Z, Kanye West. Kanye West actually probably particularly. I suppose Chris Brown. Various members of the Wu-Tang Clan. I suppose they're all highly respectful of women. 50 Cent. Highly respectful of women is he? That is absolute shit that you are talking and a pure straw man argument and it shows the lack of knowledge you have for the genre. So when you're a guest in the culture, now not only, this is where the interviewer, I have to say, I don't know how they kept a straight face and I don't know how this wasn't walked back or questioned. She says it twice when you're a guest in the culture. Flip, put it on the reverse and this was somebody in a certain, I suppose, avenue saying that to someone that was black. What sort of reaction would you get? There would be absolute uproar. So why isn't there uproar over this? Because personally I find this absolutely disgusting and it's insulting. And it comes with one issue and one thing that she's trying to do. She's trying to take out the two lads with this cancel culture nonsense. You have to, It comes with a certain amount of respect that you have to give back to that culture. No, you don't. If anything, Versatile had been disrespecting that culture for a very long time. So again, trying to cancel them, trying to talk about them, call them out as well too. Very interesting stuff. I think this individual should have been harshly questioned on that. What do you mean by that? What are you talking about? What exactly are you saying? Because this wasn't pushed back on nearly enough in my opinion. Now, we're going to come along and we are going to look at her Wikipedia. And her Wikipedia is a funny thing in itself. And I'm going to talk about exactly what's going on here and break this down a little bit too. Erica Cody attended the Billy Barty stage skill. Now I'm going to stop right there. I've had a comment recently on one of my YouTube videos. I've had a DM on my Instagram. At NinjaKnight44. I've also had a DM on my Twitter. At the underscore NinjaKnight. From a similar person that said. That he had workings with her. In Billy Barty stage skill. And said that she wasn't a nice person. And the way she behaved wasn't positive. I'll tell you what. I've just given you my information. Anybody that would have worked with her or encountered any of this experience, contact me. Now, I want proof. I don't want people come to me with mad, weird, strange accusations and claims that she's able to throw a versatile. I want proof because the truth always hurts these individuals. And you need to hit them with the truth really hard because that's what beats them. And her first live gig at age 15 as the support act for WizKid. She released Addicted in 2017. Never heard of it. Cody played at Longitude. I mean, anybody on their granny could probably play there. Electric Picnic, same thing. As well as supporting Jesse J and on Vogue in 2018. Now, Jesse J is an important name. I just want you to focus on that, what I'm going to say next in a moment. She released her EP Leoness in April of 2019 that nobody cared about. Her style has been described as close to that of TLC and Aaliyah. Well... Cody's experiences of racism in Ireland led to her launching a campaign called Don't Touch My Hair. So this individual thinks she's an activist and that's what she's working in on. Now, interestingly enough, within that video itself, the Don't Touch My Hair one, you had her talking about supporting the LGBTQ community. Now, unfortunately for her, Jessie J was also, after saying that she was in the LGBTQ community, then she reneged on that and said, actually, that was just a phase in my life. So this was all before Erica Cody decided to join her, yet she took the gig on. So this is a person without any high morals or principles because she took that gig on knowing that Jessie J was like, yeah, just a phase of my life, don't really care. And that's what she wanted to talk about in this one here. This is incredible stuff and it goes to show you the hypocrisy of this individual. She's one of the four, one of the artists featured in Hot Press's lockdown sessions in April 2020. <laughs> Who makes these decisions, man? In 2020, Cody took part in the Black Lives Matter protests in Dublin and spoke publicly about racism she and others have experienced in Ireland. I mean, what are you talking about? This is madness. Black Lives Matter, as I said, are a very negative group. They have been shown to be a very negative group with the likes of the looting, 
and the stealing and the burning of buildings that they've been taking part in in America. However, I didn't see Erica very upset by the death of David Dorn, a former police chief who was trying to defend his friend's shop from being looted, riots and burned. I didn't see her be upset by Jeffrey Wright calling Terence K. Williams an awful slur and a racial slur at that. She wasn't upset there. It seems to be selective outrage, which is funny enough. I'm interested to see if she commented about Jacob Blake, who riots are ensuing over in America over him, despite the fact the man was a rapist and also is anti-Semitic. Very interesting stuff. She had also spoke about how her family's father's family in America had been affected by racism and prejudice. <laughs> oh. Okay, so to break it down, 12% of the population in America are black. They voted in a president that was black for eight years. He was in for four, re-elected for another four. And you were trying to tell me that there's racism in America. Absolutely incredible stuff. If you want to see the statistics, just look them up. Very easy to see. She was named one of the Irish countries magazine's women to watch in 2020. <laughs> Who made that decision? The people that are in charge of this are absolutely hilarious. In 2020, Cody was part of an Irish collective of female singers and musicians called Irish Women in Harmony that recorded a version of Dreams in aid of the charity Safe Ireland. Never even heard of them doing that now at all. Which deals with domestic abuse which had reportedly risen significantly during the Beerbug lockdown. Yeah, but that comes from both sides. I mean, men are abused by women, women are abused by men, absolutely. That's a conversation that we need to have as well too. That both genders are affected by that. But always good to see it's being highlighted. Now, Erica Cody was born Erica Cody Kennedy Smith in the Rotunda Hospital, Dublin, and grew up in Baldoyle. Curious considering her accent there doesn't sound like she's from Baldoyle at all. Her mother is Irish and white, and her father is black and from South Carolina. As a teenager, Cody had hoped to become a professional basketball player until an anterior cruciate ligament injury at age 18 ruled that out. So now she's become an activist instead to try and get herself onto the ladder. She attended BIMM, uh, Dublin, studying vocals. That obviously hasn't worked out too well because now she's gone full activist and now it looks like that she's trying to work her way into being some sort of presenter and trying to pontificate to people as what they should think and how they should think. This is a very dangerous individual to be putting into a system like this that people impressionable people could be listening to and be like oh yeah that person's right without any idea what this person has been up to in the past in terms of trying to cancel individuals making wild inaccurate statements on twitter it's absolutely mad and this is an individual that shouldn't and sh absolutely couldn't be listened to by anybody that's rational my question is how did someone at spin decide to hire this individual now two ways of looking at it Maybe there was a woke SJW weirdo that was hiring there and they looked at the noise that she caused over Versailles and said, I'll give her a job. There's the other side of it. Maybe some of these companies in the past had been given tracks to play and didn't really. And what you see nowadays as well too is these people coming out. You see the John Boyegas coming out. You see the Ray Fishers coming out and saying, hey, you didn't treat me right the first time. And when they have their hands out saying, you better give me something now or else I'm going to cry racism. That's the, the part of time we are at now. That is where we are at. You have John Boyega claiming that Disney is racist. It's incredible stuff. You have Ray Fisher complaining about two individuals being racist. <laughs> oh, And now you have this individual that's flown the banner of I'm being prejudiced against. Look, like I said before, we've had fantastic people here in this country. We've had Phil in it. A man who was revered in the country. You've had Paul McGrath. Another individual revered in the country. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, centre-halves of all time for Ireland. We have had Jason Sherlock playing for Dublin. One of the greatest forwards. One of the greatest Gaelic players of all time. We have had the Halpian brothers. A wonderful set of brothers. That have done Ireland very proud. And have worked hard and were elevated due to their talent. And on merit. All of these individuals are elevated due to their talent and merit. But what we're seeing now today is an individual that's trying to get by on playing a victim. That's trying to use the victim card 
and trying to say, oh, you have to give me something because this is what I look like. And those guys that look like that, they shouldn't be involved in this group. It's absolutely incredible stuff. Now, the last thing I'm going to speak about is this. And if I was versatile, I would probably be looking at this, uh, in my opinion. Now, like I said, I disavow anybody contacting Erica Cody. I disavow anybody contacting her management. I disavow anyone contacting Spin. And I disavow anybody contacting in our Ireland. Because in our Ireland, they seem to be upset about certain things, not upset about some other things. And they're another weird little Twitter outlet, I think, in my opinion. So what is considered torturous interference? Torturous interference is a common law tort allowing a claim for damages against a defendant who wrongfully interferes with the plaintiff's contractual or business relationships. See also intentional interference with contractual relations. If I was versatile and I was having issues with certain things, I would be looking at this. Now, as I said at the outset of the video, make sure this video is shared. Share it with the lads, share it with anybody involved in this because the more information people know about this, the better. Because this individual has been doing something. She has, as we can see, and I'm not making any allegations, she's been to Billy Barry's school of stage, of acting, or whatever you call it. She's been to Billy Barry. She posted a seven minute video of which she decided to cry. She's probably a better actress, in my opinion, than she is a singer. And in a video that I have already done, tore her argument apart that she was telling absolute spoof she was telling absolute lies and spoofing that's the situation we're at with a character like that so I'm curious as to see what happened with Spain why they decided to hire her because I can't see the logical reason behind that you know what I'm saying this is an individual that needs to be watched it needs to be it's going to be interesting stuff to see what's being posted in the future. I was absolutely surprised to be hearing her on the radio yesterday. And I'm supporting her and making advertisements out of her. I was very surprised to hear that. Considering the blowback that happened to her the last time. The last time this all went down, she logged off Twitter for a few days. Because she was called out on it. Didn't like it. Went running, came back and back spouting the same stuff again. It's unbelievable stuff. Now... What I'm going to say, as I said at the start of the video, and I say at the end, I will have anybody on this channel. There's no problem with that. I will have anybody on that has proof that they have worked with her in the past, maybe at Billy Barry, maybe somewhere else. And if they had any negative experience with proof, because unlike Erica, I like to say things with proof, and I want to hear them. You can find me at the underscore ninja knight on Twitter. You can find me at Ninja Knight 44 on Instagram. My email is the Ninja Knight 44 at gmail.com. I'm also going to take this opportunity to say if Erica wants to come onto the show, because I like to stand up to bullies, I like to meet bullies head on. I want to talk to these SJWs. And what I'm saying is, I'm trying on the gauntlet right now and I'm saying, come on the channel, let's speak. Let me hear what you have to say. Give me the proof. And then I'm going to give you the facts then as well too that I've accumulated. And the last thing I'm going to say is, if Versatile would like to come onto this show, and if they would like to speak, they are more than welcome. Because I would love to hear their side of this. And the issues that they've probably been dealing with throughout this whole thing. It's easy for an individual like Erica Cody to throw out unsubstantiated claims. And then those guys have to deal with the blowback. And their own people and their personal lives had to deal with the blowback of such unsubstantiated claims. Accusations, false accusations in my opinion. Lies in my opinion. That they have had to deal with over the course of time. So I'm with the lads on this one. I want to step up and stand up against bullies like her. Because that's the narrative that I'm seeing. She's strong armed her way into a position now it seems. And she's going to try and tell other people how to think. It's absolutely incredible stuff. So I'm throwing that gauntlet down. Anybody and everybody's welcome. No problem whatsoever. That's where I'm going to leave the video at. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm always going to point out the hypocrisy. And the nonsense of individuals like this. Make sure you like the video. 
make sure you share the video very important that the video is shared because again interesting to see the last videos youtube didn't seem to like the narrative that was going on they didn't like the truth and i'm sure other people didn't like the truth certain people didn't like the truth so let's get the truth out there let's share it spread the word because i'm not having cancel culture in my great country and neither should you we shouldn't have to put up with this you should be getting somewhere on the talent and the merit that you are showing not on the fact that you're playing a victim or some sort of card no way it's not happening best of luck to everyone and i'm going to leave it there look 